generation still carries over in uh, all the games for sure. I think just the, the main thing would um, be that you don't have the muscle memory, mm -hmm. so you're not going to react to situations quite as fast as someone who's like played Smash 4 or whatnot for a longer time. But I think that can be remedied over like the course of a few months even. Right. You know, once they get like really used to the timing, and like you're saying, those players that you mentioned already have kind of overcome a lot of those um, differences with the games that they play. So, I know Chillin, in particular, is actually pretty decent at Ultimate. Just watching him play from his streams and even playing against him, mm -hmm. and watching him play against a few people in like the VIP lounge and whatnot. But uh, I think the big thing that's going to be tough for the melee players to contend with is a lot of the different character matchups. But I think Link, he should be alright. I think that's one of the characters he has a little bit more experience with compared to like like a Corrin or a Pac-Man or something. Right, know? a little bit understanding like what his kit is able to do. Right. Although this is a different version of Link than what we're used to seeing. Breath of the Wild Link, for played sure. by Zed here. Um, playing extremely patient, he's been getting a lot of grabs, of course. Link's grab being one of those changes that we see in this game, not having a hook right. to uh, com overcommit to, I would say, because now that he could actually... Grabs in general in this game are actually pretty uh, committal. You you kind of have to just be there in a mad lag um, if you happen to whiff, right. but it's a lot better than having a hook to you know rely on, having to come back with the hook and uh, wait in so much lag. He gets the down so he tried to see what he was going to do in the air, but that dash attack catches people off guard, especially by the ledge. It could clip you so easily if you try to recover, but Zed getting it on Chillin' Dude as Chillin' Dude was trying to land uh, below the platform there. Right, yeah. Um, I, I think overall Zed is playing a really solid game plan, and Chillin' Dude is kind of getting caught by a few of the combos like the down tilt we saw there earlier. Mm -hmm. um, We'll see if he can edge guard him. Oh, he gets the Link gets the tech and he gets the up B. The side B onto the stage, they're keeping him a little bit safe and he's okay for a little bit longer. He has to get this KO, which might be a little bit difficult as a move. Yeah. He's gotta get like a nice back air where he gets the side B, but I am not sure if he's able to get it because Zed is playing very patient with hey. his first stock right now. Yeah, you can see how he's just not trying to be off stage at the same time, but jumping, chilling dude catches that jump with the back air. And although he's at 60%, this is definitely uh, doable for Chillin'. Gets the down tilt trip. Like, right. so I like the patience that he's displaying, though. You see, he's not trying to overcommit at the same time. Yeah. He's trying to force Zed to come to him. But at the same time, Zed has the tools necessary to fight him from afar as well. For sure, yeah. You, you'll see Chillin' dude like, hit him once and then kind of take center stage again and see how Zed reacts to that. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, like we were talking about, just the fundamentals. You know, keeping center stage um, gives you a lot of control in a lot of matchups. Yeah, and Zed actually seeing that Chillin' Dude was going to go off stage to try to edge guard again, as we saw earlier in the match. And that's why he did a uh, low recovery instead, right. trying to avoid uh, whatever Chillin' Dude was going to try to throw out there below the ledge. Right. But Chillin' is doing a really good job at just keeping Zed off stage here, evening out this game. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much even right now. Whoever's going to get this next edge guard is going to determine a lot. And Zed hitting him on his, on his way back to the stage. That is a huge KO. Oh, the parry into the bomb grab? Yeah, you saw that. Philippine actually used Nair to kind of ignore that boomerang, throwing a hitbox in the air and, and taking care of that projectile. Right. Now he's off stage chilling, usually going for the edge guard, trying to actually stay safe and recognizing Zed actually didn't have a jump, it seemed. Right. Um, probably didn't recognize that until it was a little too late, but also he was pretty low, so he couldn't really do much even with a bomb. Right. Oh, that's what I want to see more. I love these bomb plays from Link, especially now that Breath of the Wild Link has uh, some crazy setups just starting from bear, uh, Arrow into hitting the bomb in the right. perfect positioning. Right, right. The bomb being on the top platform like that doesn't help him too much. Yeah, unless he gets a grab and he throws him into it. Right. And Chillin is kind of taking a little bit of a lead here, 50%. Oh, and he misses the tech off the bomb. Oh, no. That's... And he was doing so good at making sure he didn't get spiked off stage. Yeah. That's a big miss. Those sheets are so handy for counterpicking. They really are. <laughs> and, and you know, they have like, here at Genesis 6, we have like penciled in like stage sets. So that way, if you are trying to determine like what stage to ban, you could actually have pencils and like strike the stages on a, on a paper. Oh, yeah. And it's like at every single station, like multiple of these little papers. And it's such a good idea for new players in general coming into Genesis and like trying to see what a national is for their first time. It definitely helps um, players get a better understanding how the rule set works here. Yeah, and yeah, and as the stages progress, it's, it's really good to know what each tournament is doing. So. Yeah. 
I mean, sometimes you, you'll forget what stages are picked and what stages are banned, so it's very useful, especially for newer players. And they're collecting all the data, so later we'll be able to see, like, statistically what stages were chosen over the course of the entire Oh, game. you know, I didn't even think that far, but that is such a yes. That is actually fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be good for, for data collection. Yeah, so that way we don't have just only, like, four legal stages out here. Right, right. Zed having a pretty good start, though, at pressuring a Chillin right below that platform, but Chillin finding his way back to center stage, trying to find his footing. Great shield there, being yeah. patient, waiting for that dash attack as he got hit by that um, the first game. Right. Actually well, costing him the first stock. Right, it's very strong, but it does have a lot of life, so you can shield grab it pretty easily. And that lingering air. Oh, he gets the tech right there. Great awareness from Zed and trying to help him out um, and mixing up his recovery, but... That side B, man. That side B is actually crazy. And you, you know, if you do that off stage and you overcommit, you actually don't come back from that. It's really strong. Yeah, it is extremely strong, especially if you catch uh, your opponent off guard. Yeah. And Chillin actually does that a lot on stage to try to get the KOs. Great DI coming from Chillin. Recovering up high um, above the ledge. Okay. Fine stall gets a, the ledge grab there. Oh, that was the up out of shield, which, funny enough, they patched that. They don't have that anymore. Like, this, since we're playing pre-patch here at Genesis, of course, for all the players that prepared um, for so long for this tournament, as the game was patched just only a few days ago, they actually patched the up B out of shield, which, in this game, you could actually just mash up B out of shield, then any hit that connects to your shield, the up B will automatically come out upon hit. Nice. Yeah, that's a super useful technique for uh, getting people off of you, especially if you don't have the fastest grab or yeah. your face behind. Exactly. Sometimes it's actually better than just going for a grab out of shield. And Zed, recognizing how strong a Lynx up B is, especially if you have an up B that happens to be invincible, it's a great option. Yeah, yeah, it's a good KO potential. Very even now as we both have two stocks. Tries to get the back air shield spike and oh my, dude, the hitbox actually goes so far above the ledge. That's the second time we've seen Chillin use that up B to get the KO. That time off the ledge, that's super good. It actually has so much knockback. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf is a menace sometimes. Ooh, using the laser to actually move the bomb away from him a little bit. Nope. Something that could be uh, taken into consideration, actually, as Zed will be using his bombs more in the matchup. Right. Yeah, Wolf's lasers could actually be a little peeving at times, especially if you just happen to be holding forward or he catches your jump with it. Yeah. Since, of course, when you're jumping, you're giving away your ability to be in a more defensive option. Yeah, for sure. I like that he's using the gun a little bit more. There's a little bit more space on this particular stage. So, um, Link in particular is trying to stay back just a little bit, and, and Chillin's kind of adapting and going for more lasers. Oh, that forward smash catching him jumping. And it was funny because Chillin has actually uh, jumping a lot at the very end right there. Right. And I don't know if he was trying to go for a back air from what it seemed because he got caught out of his um, empty hop. But the forward smash punishing him for it and making the set a 1-1. Yeah. Zed versus Chillin, dude. Very strong, very strong. Is this... Do you know if this is round one? Of yes. The it's, yes, it's this the is... First. I don't know if this is round one exactly, but I definitely know that this is... You know, one of the still first waves. Right. Like we're not in round two of pools. Right, right, right. Uh, right, right but right. I'm not too sure. I, I, I was told in the back that that we would be commentating first the round ones, uh -huh. but which would make sense because it's early at ten. Like usually right. the pool started at ten a.m. So this may first. be actually round one. Right, might be the first round. Okay, cool. Nice. He offers a stage with not as many platforms. I think that gives him a little bit more laser control, and you can also combo off of that uh, top platform there pretty easily. Yeah. Smashville platforms having that stationary platform in the middle. Super good. He's been trying those forward smashes a lot as Link is getting back off of the ledge, but he's been misspacing it a little bit, and so he actually ends up being very far away, not even connecting on shield a lot of times. Again, look up. Just the up. Oh, yeah, he could not recover right there. Quite unfortunate. He did not have a jump either. Oh, and that's, that was that the the blade that came out from Breath of the Wild. You know when you right. haven't taken damage and uh, Link actually throws out any A move, the blade will come out. Oh, right. But that only works when he's at 0%. Right, the 0%. Yeah. Get a little projectile just for a little while. Okay. 
Nice shine to get the bomb off of him. I want to see that more. I, that's actually the first time I saw Chillin do that in that situation when he sees the bomb. Right. Well, oh, he tries to catch his landing, and that's the forward smash that you were mentioning. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going a lot for those kind of reads. And Zed being a little bit more careful against Wolf's up B because he has been KO'd by it, stage spiked, and it does hurt quite a bit. Oh, he tried to Z drop. Yeah, he tried to Z drop it into something fancy, and Chillin actually grabbing the bomb as he tried to throw a jab. And oh my goodness, going so low for that KO, understanding that Chillin was in a pretty bad position underneath the stage there. Right. Yeah. And that looked to be like an untechable as well. Yeah, when you see that red uh, splash on the stage, it's actually an untechable. But there's actually times where if the velocity changes, you can tech it. So always go for the tech regardless, oh, because sure. in the chance that you can tech, there you go. Yeah, there's no harm in yeah. uh, hitting LRR exactly. in that position. You're going to get KO'd anyway. Oh, tries to wave dash back. Oh my god. What game are we playing? <laughs> <laughs> Keeping him in the corner so well and taking the bomb for himself. See, I like oh. the lasers now that he's um, Chillin's playing a lot more patient. Yeah, See, he's just waiting, throwing out the near hitbox just in case Zed does a neutral get up. Right. This is a huge lead right now for Chillin. 80% with a whole stock lead. Yep. He tries to up B him again on stage. And Chillin's got that momentum rolling right now, just keeping Zed off the stage. This man oh. cannot recover. He does manage to tech, though. Right, right. And oh, I was just expecting a forward smash right there when Chillin decided to jump by the ledge, but Zed not catching him, using the bomb to try to edge guard him instead. Right. Oh, and the bomb will get that uh, second stock off of Chillin. We're at a last stock situation now. Can Zed make this comeback? 115% is actually so much. Yeah, it is. Like, he's got to worry for up Bs now. He's got to worry if he jumps in a precarious situation. Now, if Zed does manage to get the damage that he needs, though, Link has insane knockback power, and he could potentially take Chillin's dude. Um, stop. Oh, oh, no, it won't, though, because Chillin punishing Zed's <laughs> ledge option.